Hello, good evening, and uh, of course, happy 2022 every, to everybody. Everybody, ciao Roberta, hello, hello. Hello to all my friends that are joining. Um, this is my new look, and I have to say really big thank you to my good friend Lollo, San Babila Cinque, Milano, that he decided to do this kind of pink, a pink lady. And I'm so, so happy about this color, and we will see what is going to happen in a few days. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. So I'm so happy that uh, we'll start 2022 having a beautiful artist like Sarah Gallagher as a woman. I'm very happy and grateful to start the new year with a woman, an artist that is a uh, beautiful uh, inside out and uh, her artwork speaks uh, really, really well. So let's welcome Sarah. I'm gonna invite her, Sarah. Let's see. We have to talk about so many things uh, with her. She is amazing. Eccola. So in Italian, say, that's it. Eccola. Welcome, mm -hmm. Sara. Hello. It's evening in Italy, Milano. It's uh, six o'clock, as you know. Uh, I know that you wake up really early. And uh, thank you so much to join conversation with my friend, the artist. That is, uh, is going really well. I'm, I'm really, really happy. And today mm -hmm. we started 2022 with uh, with you, so thank well, you. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, yeah. I was really looking forward to talk with you because um, uh, your artwork as a graphite artist is really so beautiful and so sweet and tender, and the communication of these drawings are really uh, awesome. Really, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, I know that there are some uh, be behind you. Your yeah. beautiful <laughs> composition of drawings <laughs> are so, so beautiful, really. So, Thank you. so, Sarah, let's have a conversation. We have a lot of insiders that are tuning in. I'm really happy. Hello, guys. Happy New Year. So, Sarah, I mean to be a graphite artist, to be a woman and graphite artist for you because uh, it's not really easy, but uh, you make it and you are doing, I can see you are doing well. I mean, you are almost professional. I mean, you are professional, <laughs> at my eyes, at least. At least, at uh, my eyes, you are. Well, I appreciate that a lot. And uh, yeah, as we were touched base a little bit earlier and and um, yeah, and I, I shared that I, I, don't yet see myself as a professional artist, but mm -hmm. certainly working there, get getting mm -hmm. there, making strides. And so in that sort of um, it, a, a strong emerging artist, I would I would say, but um, and it's a really exciting place to be. Um, yeah. And as a woman in the art field um, and as a graphite artist, it's it's an interesting <laughs> space to navigate. <laughs> Um, and I, I didn't ever, I didn't plan to be a graphite artist, um, but it just sort of happened and I just really leaned into it because, um, you know, why fix what isn't broken? <laughs> um, I, I, when I first, uh, tried graphite, um, under the guidance of my mentor, Dirk Zamirski, uh, who's an amazing um, graphite artist. He, uh, or yeah, I, it just clicked for me. Like the medium just yeah. makes sense to me. Um, I did oil paintings for almost okay. a decade before. Uh -huh. And it, it'll be hard to find any of them on the internet now. Um, yeah, I, that's why I'm a bit surprised because I didn't see anything. I was trying to see if you, you've done something even with oil or uh, just drawings and I couldn't find anything. I didn't see anything. Yeah, there's a couple um, that I am really proud of, uh, oil paintings. They were mostly landscape. Um, 
still a little bit surreal as some as most of my graphite pieces are as well. Um, and I do one day, maybe I'll go back to oil, but um, I think I recently started exploring with pan pastel with my graphite. Um, so to bring in a little bit of color, which I yeah, think I is one thing that I was really starting to miss um, working only with the gray tones of graphite. But, um, but yeah, so uh, back to your question of being an emerging artist, an emerging graphite artist, um, uh. it, it's a fascinating thing that um, drawings are, are not actually typically valued as high as oil paintings. Exactly. Um, even though uh, we, you know, anybody who does realism and graphite knows how laborious How many it is. hours, yeah. yeah. How many hours of work and, uh, and, and skill uh, that it takes and to... skills you need to, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I and, don't know why. So, so, yeah, it's an interesting thing to, um, to realize that it's it's just not valued as high. Um, so I think that is a hurdle for me moving forward. That's a, of just finding a way to make a living with my art by using a, a medium that inherently isn't as valuable. Um, but we will see how it goes and I am yeah. determined. <laughs> um, uh, but there is a, um, something that it's a bit like a curiosity that always comes to my mind about graphite artists. And uh, because, um, of course, of course, you have to be skilled and um, you need to have a, a right concept in, in your mind to become a really great artist and whatever. But there is uh, something that you can say to others because... Uh, I mean, I know that you are an emerging artist, but you are already there. You are already represented by a gallery. Um, you had already some award. So I'm sure you can give some advice um, related to what I'm saying. Um, there is a, a concept uh, because of your drawings, actually. I just let, let's talk about your drawings to let understand because my English is not, I'm not so perfect in my English. My vocabulary is not so big. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's okay. talk about your drawings. Mm -hmm. That speaks a lot and intrigued me so much when I saw it. So it's not about only graphite. If the, we can say um, that this kind of art done with graphite it's a piece of art. So it's, it's a different technique, but in the end, when you see it, it doesn't look the typical drawings. So it's a kind of difference to see someone, I mean, you, are, you can be so skilled and do a really realistic portrait. You, you, you are doing so great, but then you are perfect and uh, super realism or uh, realism or whatever, but then you cannot talk, you cannot call this piece a piece of art. So what about this? Do you think it is a bit like that? It, it, do you think it is, it, there is a, something that you can say to others to achieve maybe a, a bigger um, success or uh, to yeah. more people? Something totally. like your paintings done, because uh, that's what uh, I would love that you show to to others your your drawings that I love yeah. so much. I I know that this one um, in particular, Giorgio, was the one that you yeah. loved the it's, most. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, How can you know? So this, is a, this is art. This is a it's really beautiful piece. Thank I you. Must say. Um, you are so, so, so really talented, and I have to say, beautiful. Thank you. Um, yeah, I guess to, to speak to your question, it's, I think what you're getting at is, um, you know, skill is so important to hone, and I, but, but it can't, but that's not what makes an artwork great. 
it needs more that it's it's like the the unification of skill and concept um and heart and integrity and you know because i don't know it's why should anybody pause and and contemplate on your work um you know it i think so much about art is to provoke an emotion um to 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 get people to pause and and linger with it um and you know so skill if you have a really fine technical skill that can that is great and yes that can cause people to pause um however what's actually going to linger with them would be the feeling that they got from it of you know uh i think it was your first artist that you interviewed chris christoph right yeah, um, he, yeah, <laughs> he, he spoke yeah, um <laughs> oh hello um he spoke about you know telling a story and um and you know for me i think about the works that i try to create um the works that i create i try to uh provide an opportunity for people to feel seen um my work is about mental health and so i really want to break the taboos around having more conversations about mental health um about speaking openly about how people are really doing how they're really feeling um and to create a just a healthier community in general by people um being able to speak more freely and then support others when they need some some extra support so um my goal with my work is to start conversations about that and um and yeah and i think that so as far as advice for people starting out um do take the time to work on the craft and the skill and the technique um cuz you can have a great concept but if the technique isn't there then it can fall flat and people it won't capture it it may not capture people right away um but but then when you start building on that technique or you or you feel like you're starting to finally get a little confident in your technique um absolutely explore ideas and and really ask yourself all the time why you are doing what you're doing why you want to put art in the world and what kind of art you want to share like it's a part of you you know so what do you want to say to people and um and yeah and so having those questions of can i push my skill further and what am I, what do i really want to say your artwork represents you so it's an opportunity to be really honest um yeah right because you work also on the field of mental health or something like that <laughs> right is it correct um it is like um you're not a doc- doctor or no no not a doctor no 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 uh, just helping no. to <laughs> but i um yeah i i i work uh with in the community of people with disabilities um i've also uh done a lot of volunteer work with people um who are disadvantaged or homeless and so i've had um so my experience more comes from direct experience rather than uh you know school um but i have a degree in art not in psychology um that would be my second pursuit though if i yeah, yeah, ever yeah. had yeah. had the time um <laughs> but but yeah it's it's more about empathy honestly and that, that's something that sure. david wilson spoke about um in in your last week's episode uh it it's more adjust about developing the muscle of empathy and seeing people as people and exactly. being curious yeah and be, being curious about them and wanting to 
I don't know, just breaking down preconceived notions that some people may have um, to see others, but also to see yourself to to give give yourself a break, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like Absolutely. show up with, you know, it's okay to be having a really hard time and it's, yeah. and it's okay to talk about it and, yeah, 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 and yeah. get support, you know. But when, uh, when did you start to get uh, noticed by galleries and uh, how did it happen? Uh, which piece of art, it was the one that intrigued the galleries and uh, how did it start this part? That, that, that one. <laughs> And what that happened was to your mind? How did you download this idea of uh, doing this kind of, uh, if I can ask, I don't know yeah, if you would course. like to say. Um, yeah, so that that it would be what I call my, my breakthrough piece. Um, that piece that sort of, that the, the departure from just seeking skill and then actually successfully incorporating um, uh, concept into it and uh to be honest i it, it started from um i had found a really wonderful therapist i had been working with this therapist maybe for a year and a half um and and had such a breakthrough of of um i'm somebody who deals with anxiety and so i through working with this great therapist, um, discovered ways. I I thought that I was going to have to like fight my anxiety, but instead I just understood more where it was coming from, and then I was able to access deeper empathy for myself and really deep, deeper intimacy with myself. Um, I understood where my own struggles were, were coming from. Um, and, and it just, it was like a breakthrough of my own of, of um, yeah, just looking and being more okay, like kind of befriending the fact that I have anxiety rather than wanting to fight it away. Um, yeah. And then, so then I, I thought, okay, um, I was able to access this deeper intimacy with myself, um, how are other people doing? Like how, what are they going through right now? What are, you know, like day to day stuff, the people who you see often who look like everything's fine, like what's, go what's going on a little beneath the surface? Um, and that doesn't always have to be a struggle. It could be maybe they just had a breakthrough and they're celebrating that. Um, yeah you know, but wanting to just talk more about emotional health, mental health. Um, so I started now the way that I make all my pieces, I invite, uh, I have an open call for people. So if anybody wants to participate, you can DM yeah. me. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say, say, say. Maybe the, of course, there are people that they could be really, really interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so I invite people to talk with me. We have about an hour long conversation um, and they share where they're at and, and what, you know, what is going on with them emotionally. Um, how are they viewing intimacy in their life, uh, emotional intimacy and, um, you know, or I, I can ask prompting questions to sort of steer it, but, but it's this very open conversation um, where I do a lot of listening and and just learn about somebody's inner world, if you will. Um, That's beautiful. Amazing. And then from our conversation, um, then from our conversation, I, I I hone in on what sort of appeared to be the bigger theme within it, um, and then then I sit with that and visually come up with a way to try to represent that emotional state of being. Amazing. This is a, it's a something of, it could be even a new project to, to do something new or related about art, right? About what? That, about your art, your new oh, project uh -huh. of art. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I have a solo show coming up in uh, October of this year with 33 Contemporary, and it um, it's actually called Our Inner World. And so it's it's going to be a cumulation of all of these yeah. pieces. How many uh, pieces are you gonna um, you gonna um, add it's a solo, right? Uh, how many mm -hmm. pieces they're gonna be there? The goal well, is twelve. So twelve. <laughs> we'll see. I wish you good luck. <laughs> you have a lot of work to do. Uh, October. Uh, you, you <laughs> the have goal. Fun. Maybe I should uh -huh. say eight, and then you know, under what is it? Under promise, over deliver. <laughs> wow! Wow! But, yeah, because to have drawings, well, it's quite it's, a lot. You, it is mean a lot, that but... you have to be really, really focused. I, mm -hmm. Anyhow, I'm sure you can do yeah. it. I'm sure you can do it. We, th we've so got this a, is a new project. Uh, no, it's project been completed. ongoing for the last two years ish. So I have piece. I have you know two thirds of them made already. But yeah, your goal as an artist, see yourself. Yeah, five years, let's say, in five years. Oh, hmm. Two years? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe think, less than five? <laughs> I want to, I want to see how this process of working can be expanded. Um, to touch more people. Because again, the goal of my art is to start a conversation uh, to, to help break the taboos around mental health and, and wanting to yeah. build a bridge for people to have just more support and solidarity in their own communities. Um, and so if, if my art could actually start a bigger conversation, um, you know, with use of social media, you know, I'm... What's going on? Oh, no. So... Connection is uh, is a little bit weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see you right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was lost a little bit. Now you were saying, if I have a conversation. Um, yeah, I I mean, right now, we're, we're, we've connected and you're in Italy and I'm in California and so um lucky you <laughs> <laughs> I could say the same about you. <laughs> oh yeah of course usually it's, it's, it's always like this whatever you are it's always better to be the other yeah. side another totally. part. <laughs> yeah I know I know it works a uh, human being and this period that you we cannot really travel so much uh, mm -hmm. it becomes so a dream to be in the other yeah. part of the world. Yeah, I know. Totally. Oh, I miss I miss travel for sure, but um but yeah, uh but it's amazing that that now the technologies were able to build relationships with people yes. across the globe. Yeah, like, like um, we are doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like so you were saying about your project then you will be able to talk with them, to have a conversation then to develop all the, the all the twelve pieces. I mean, how it works? You want to do a conversation with uh, with some people or anyone that have that could have a very hard moment in life, and maybe you emphasize with them, and you can get some of this is amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. There are so yeah, many people so. on this period that have so mental problems, also yeah. because of COVID. Huh? Um, yeah so, no kidding and um and yeah and i as we've already clarified am not a, a therapist not trained it's it's not it's not about solving anything or saying why or it's just about connecting just yeah. having a conversation just opening up building deeper intimacy with people in your community and um and I believe that that is healing, you know? And yeah, of course it is. Of yeah. course it is. I remember during the lockdown, uh, the, the first lockdown, many artists that they were, of course, uh, squeezed in their small part and they cannot do anything rather than draw or paint. Many of them, they're really connected with the, 
Zoom or Instagram with, uh, with people and they start to do live, even a live drawing mm-hmm. that uh, they send many, I mean, uh, uh, there, there, is, there is an Italian that lives now in Spain that uh, Manuel uh, Del Campo, uh, I forgot the mm-hmm. first name that he, he mm-hmm. did the kind of things like this. Is, uh, it was uh, absolutely beautiful. So I wish you really uh, good luck because this is it looks so promising and I'm sure mm-hmm. because you have this empathy with people so I'm sure you can you can uh, feel the connection and find mm-hmm. the right concept for that. But the, you are not only a drawer because I I won't forget to say that you are also a singer, right? Because you <laughs> are a singer. You are a complete <laughs> artist. You are also a singer. <laughs> I, I say I um uh, say say I, because uh, a lot of people they don't know but Sarah Gallagher is all, she's also a fantastic singer. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we I actually uh with my partner uh we're both musicians and we we released an an EP a two song EP um songs that we finished writing in the lockdown um but now they're they're out in the world for your listening pleasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, are, they were in the stories, right? I, I was mm-hmm. listening to something and I love mm-hmm. it. I love the video. This is your husband, I guess, the one with, uh, that he was walking with, with you. On, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Right? I like you. that because it's art. I mean, to be an artist, it, uh, many artists that are so keen to music and we can't I mean when I paint I love to listen music on my handphone or it is a, something so connected uh, it's uh, yeah so that's yeah amazing. I um I say that I in- insatiably create I just <laughs> if I if I need a break from drawing I'll stop and then go play my banjo and then, you see? and then I go back to the drawing board. That's amazing. Uh, but this is beautiful. It's a very nice, beautiful skill. I wish that I can play, but I... No, I can't. I can only <laughs> listen. Um, so it was... Uh, I don't want to forget something because I wrote... Uh, then I saw that you are... I'm a bit also curious about this. Um, you are represented by the 33 galleries. Uh, mm-hmm. Contemporary galleries or 33, 33 mm-hmm. contemporary gallery because I don't uh, what's mean to be in a gallery's work I mean how does it work uh, how when when did you start to to have uh, because uh, uh, you have these galleries to see when I don't know but then uh, it happened one day that they called you and they said mm-hmm. mm, we are interested you were saying before then we we didn't go through these uh, these answer. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is I feel like this is the very uh, it's like that elusive question of all emerging artists of how do you how do you get gallery representation and what does it mean when you do and um, and yeah I've been working with thirty three contemporary for. Or I've been represented by them for one year, um, actually almost to, to the day they, um, yeah, they asked to represent me last January 1st, I think. So, um, so how was it? Did you get a call? What, what happened? Tell me. Uh, an email. An, an email. email. But, of course, um, serious, of course. serious uh, people, they work like that. Yeah, uh-huh. usually. And, um, uh, your feelings yeah, it, was like, uh, wow, <laughs> you didn't expect it, it. It felt amazing to get that yeah. invitation. It really did. It was so affirming. Um, I had shown work through them. So, you know, you can, as an artist, you can submit your your drawings, your paintings, your works to, um, uh, sorry distraction um you can submit to open calls at at you know various galleries they have group shows Mm -hmm. all the time there's group shows you can enter in all the time um and finding the ones that you want to enter into i think is really important Um, 
yeah. I I have a a working spreadsheet um, of all the calls that I want that I'm planning on submitting to, and um, the due dates and where what gallery that's with, you know, what the perks are, if it's online, if it's in person, etc. Um, and uh, and so that is really helpful. Um, so anyway, yeah. so I started working with 33 Contemporary Gallery uh, shown in a few of their open calls. And so that's how oh, we that's started good. the relationship. And then they reached out to me um, right. to, 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 to represent me. Um, yeah, it's good to say that because um, um, the other the other artists they need to know or at least the, 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 the new talented artists they need to know that uh, that's the way it works because mm -hmm. we spoke about gallery, galleries and contracts so many times even in our group where we met before and uh, that's the way it works so the galleries when you do an open call then if they are interested in your work then they they send you an email they can send this and usually well that's that's I, one I, way you know i think that I don't think it would hurt to, well, I don't know. I mean, re research, re every gallery is different because some, if you, like, yeah, go go and see what galleries it intrigue you. Do they show work similar to yours? Do they show artists that you appreciate? Um, exactly. And then, and then you can check often on their websites, you know, there, there could be, you know, submit, submit your artwork to this email link and then you can do that or there's or sometimes it will say um not open to to artist submissions like do not send us you know some so look look into it and you know because yeah and also if you're like in your area if you're interested in local representation i think going to the galleries physically and meeting the people and talking and asking them you know are you are you taking on any new artist or what is a good way to you know are you interested in seeing a portfolio of works um i think that it's a lot of uh it's kind of yeah there are so many opportunities for artists but uh, there is a something that i would love uh, to make it clear for men many that they have fear to because we don't have to be feared i mean to feel fe fe this fear of uh, trying because uh, maybe mm -hmm. you will try 10 times for 10 times they will say to you no then the 11th mm -hmm. times mathematically it will work so don't yeah. stop to believe in yourself and yeah. another thing that i would love really to share with all my friends are just in conversation with it is that uh, we have to stop to give money to this vanity art that when you are not an established artist or you are not really into the artist world, they take advantage of these people and they um, ask them a lot of money. So artists, they don't have to pay a lot of money to mm -hmm. display their art. Are you agree with me? Because I think this shame has to be done once forever because it is. Uh, it is really frustrating. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm sure I think, it happened to you. I think that that as an artist, it's important to um, to understand the value of your own art, um, and yeah, and to not. Um, It, it, it's great to go out and try many things. However, if, yeah, if, if the opportunity um, isn't, isn't really worth the cost of it, the hassle of it, um, then don't do it. You know, don't, if, if you are submitting to a call across the country um, that, you know, is, is kind of like a meh, gallery why would you why would you pay this entry fee and then pay to get it shipped there 
and then it you know likely won't sell if it's you know exactly then you then you have to pay exactly. shipping to get it back <laughs> absolutely absolutely um, it is oh, so it is a really bad feeling it yeah. is a really bad feeling also because uh, you understand that they are not really interested in your work that that's also it's really mean i think i mean and they take because the the artist is Uh, there is a, always a dream you known in the head of uh, even the one that is started yesterday uh, there is a dream to become maybe one day recognized by also one piece or whatever and then they take advantage of the, of the these uh, mental you know uh, how to call it uh, i don't know how to call it but they are sensitive people and they they take advantage so run it mm -hmm. gallery please guys don't follow don't pay you don't have to pay <laughs> i mean to submit for something like uh, well done recognized uh, i don't know issues or other kind of things it's another story but then usually they don't ask you more than more maybe 40 dollars mm. 50 dollars 60 dollars mm. maybe this you can try but then when they ask you to be in venice or to be in florence or to be in new york for and then you have to ship and then you have to pay for each of pieces that no that's not the right way to start it's not even to, the right way to start to be recognized I mean, and, and I, i yeah i think um also right now there's a, a lot of online opportunities and don't get me wrong art needs to be seen in person 100 but if you are an emerging artist and and you are just trying to get seen, take advantage of social media, take advantage of the online shows because there is not that shipping cost. And you start to just build your network and build your, your CV, your resume of, of you know, shows you've participated in. Again, make sure that it's a reputable gallery, um, you know, and, but, but those are a good way to, to get yourself out there. And, and one other thing, um, I think an excellent resource is other artists. Um, I think that, that one of the like greatest things that has the two the two things that really really shifted the my trajectory. There there was a couple, but one I I sought mentorship to help with my actual skill set. My drawings did not look the way that they did before I went and actually learned, learned and humbled myself and said, hey, I need help to, to, yeah. to, to refine my skill and, and get it stronger. I think, you know, being able to humble yourself and acknowledge when Absolutely. you should go and learn more, which I think should never stop, <laughs> you know? Never, um, never, never. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. constantly- It's a never ending story. It's a never ending yeah. story. Yeah, yeah there's always- that people, you know, doing great things. Um, I don't want to say better than you, but, you know, people who've been in the field for longer, reach out to them and see, you know, take a workshop from them or ask a question. There's a, a lot of people are very open, you know, exactly. even the, the successful artists who you may assume are like really busy and swamped and maybe they are, but I'd say nine times out of 10, if I've reached out to a very established artist with a question, say like on social media, um, nine times out of 10, I get a response. And Let's that's amazing. See. I want to open comment and see if there is anyone that want to ask you something. Anyone that want to ask anything to Sarah, anything, I don't know, but <laughs> she's here too. <laughs> to, to I'm an open book. If there is anything that you want to ask to Sarah Gallagher, uh, Um, so let's see if there is any question. No, where are all our insiders? <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. I, I feel sorry that when I usually post the, the conversation, all the um, comments and uh, all the comments, they go away because uh, they can... They mm. don't get recorded, so I, yeah, I, I feel sorry why. that uh, 
I don't know why Instagram has to do an update to this because it doesn't work in this way. <laughs> we have so many people that they just they tune in and I would love that uh, they can. Uh, even their their questions are very interesting because uh, even last time they were asking so many good intriguing uh, um, questions to even to Christoph, even to to David Wilson. So I would love that. Uh, mm -hmm. But probably yeah, we answered to so we talk about so many things that uh, they are. They don't even know what to ask. I want to ask you something. I want to it, ask you something. But it looks like it. there is one question in there um, that's from from uh, Lauren. You can see it. Maybe no, I cannot see it. Oh, you can't see. Oh, Should I can't I just see. DM your for submission for you? Okay. No, this is a, any code for you. Call you yourself. Recommend it. Recommend and call you yourself. Recommend so uh, I, I, that you I can recommend. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good um, question. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would, I would say, hello. Uh, huh? I was just saying hello to Ulrika Miller. Oh, <laughs> Ulrika Miller. <laughs> um, well, first off, uh, Lauren's question should I just DM you for submission for your next process? Um, I assume that's for the for the next to to maybe participate in my pro project. I will read it that way. Um, the answer is yes. If you are interested in in um, being in sharing your story of your inner world and and would like to, um, to, to to be a part of the the body of work, that would be excellent. Yes, just DM me um, anytime. Um, uh, Rina, thank you for being on here. Uh, so great to, to see you. And then um, any call that you recommend. I honestly, there's there's so many good ones out there. Um, there there's two yeah. different things. There's there's shows and then there's competitions. And I think it's good to, to interact with both. Um, it depends on your particular style of work. Um, you know, I, uh, there's stuff like the Beautiful Bazaar Art Prize is a good mm. um, contest to enter. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, go and check it out. They have a, a big array of work and some of their stuff is quite bizarre, but, um, but then there's, there's, it's all like a spectrum too of, uh, and so, my work has actually been a finalist two years in a row. Um, Beautiful, yeah. And and I think it's <laughs> it's actually a lot more tame than than a lot of the the other beautiful works that they um, they show. But anyways, that's a good one, and that's online too, so you don't have to ship anything. It's just the entry fee, um, so that's a good a good call. There's a good try, yes. Um, good and try. then you know, there's stuff like the arc. Um, the Art Renewal Center, uh, I think, annually does does shows. There's um, the Smithsonian Portrait Prize. What is that one called? Um, so those are contests that I think are reputable um, contests. And uh, then as far as calls, um, Poets Artist is a... a, a artist group that I joined when I first started working with 33 Contemporary and um, and mm -hmm. they uh, Dee Dee Menendez is the woman who runs Poets Artist and um, she has open calls like monthly there's tons of stuff and and they partner with different galleries so um, the Wausau Museum of Contemporary Art is a beautiful museum um, here in the States in Wisconsin, uh, ran by David Hummer, and he is so great, and the museum is awesome. They have wonderful calls. Um, poets, artists, pairs, or teams up with them. So, you know, people... Maybe we can um, let some um, contact the, on the comments when I will download the guys when i will download the video maybe we, we can add for you or maybe you if you can help me to to give some of them uh, some sure. of these uh, 
contact. So, uh, if there I are could go on and on. They can, go, <laughs> <laughs> they can go and check because there are so, there are many. Then, of course, you have yeah. to feel if that is the right place for you and that uh, yeah. you are uh, aligned with the water, what is their concept. Uh, is it correct? Right. And it is yeah. something flying here. If you're a realism oh. artist, don't, don't, you know, submit to an abstract call. But that one should be up. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Rika. Thank you. Thank you to be here. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. thank you to everybody to be here. I hope mm -hmm. that this uh, 22, it will be just really um, abundant of art. Mm -hmm. Full of Me abundance. <laughs> Of anything, any kind of abundance, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. Abundance in traveling, abundance in uh, health mm -hmm. and uh, everything. So yeah. I think uh, we did that. Uh, we were talking about so many things. I would love that uh, if you would like to say something to our people that are connected, if you feel so, or, or, or a wish for this uh, year just started, uh, go ahead, feel free to say whatever you want because this is your home. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, this year, more art in person um, and safely. <laughs> Sa safely, more, more art in person. Um, yeah, more travel again, safely. It's, it's all just, I don't know. If you haven't yeah. been vaccinated yet, go get vaccinated. <laughs> just let's let's uh, the third round, yeah, a few days ago. yeah. Let's yeah, do yeah. this and band together. Um, I mean, I think also just patience um, to to keep writing out how we have to write out together to get through this really crazy time and trusting. Um, I don't know, trusting that, that, you know, this challenging time will pass eventually. Um, and yeah, so I guess patience and empathy um, and more art. God, I just need to, I don't know, I want to get out of my own head more <laughs> and, and just Yeah, work. I think... Uh... Uh, you, uh, this is a beautiful wish, really. And uh, it, uh, if there is a, something that COVID uh, just, I mean, uh, give me as a lesson is just to be really connected, uh, even more with my uh, consciousness, with my as to be conscious person, because that's the secret for me. I believe that uh, consciousness is the key to be really aware of what mean. To be here and take everything as a positive, but not positive of COVID. Eh? <laughs> not of this yeah. kind of positivity, please. Guys. <laughs> Just to be positive and, and that's it. And everything will be okay. This is the year of, of the end. Uh, we, we are start. We are, We will start to move on the not the pandemic anymore. Let's say they they are saying. Let's hope that uh, no. Let's say that is gonna be like this, and that's it. 2022 is the end. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sarah, what, what a lovely what a, conversation. Mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me. You were saying I, something. I was just, I, I was going to ask what, what your, um, yeah, do you have aspirations for your painting or for this wonderful uh, platform that you've now started with the conversations? What do you see in 2022 for uh, that. You know, uh, um, <laughs> that's a very nice question. It's good that you are asking me. That's a very nice conversation. Mm -hmm. the, um, I, I don't know. I, you know what? I really li live by the flow. I, I just let it go as it happened. Anything that comes to my mind, I will follow my intuition. If I feel that I want to paint, if I'm able to, because now I started this kind of concept because I, I can paint right now. And uh, when I will have a space and time, we will see. For sure, I don't want to interrupt this concept because I love it. And uh, mm -hmm. I really love to meet all my colleagues, uh, the one that they are already established, or even the other one they are not. 
And I would love to have all the time this kind of uh, beautiful conversation like uh, this one with you today. It was uh, awesome. So we started uh, in a good way, 2022. Mm -hmm. um, we will see, Sarah. It's, it's wonderful what, what you're doing. And yeah, for anybody else who's on here, uh, if you didn't listen to the other interviews yet, I highly recommend them. They're just so Thanks. great, great conversations to listen to. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> so, see you maybe next time in the following uh, the conversation with uh, with others. Uh, next time, probably there is a master. We will see. Uh, or maybe we will shift uh, on next Sunday because probably I'm uh, traveling and we will open the, the Sunday after. We will see. And I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted. So, yes, probably next one is going to be a master. And we have a lot of things to to ask him. Yeah, that's thank exciting. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. I let mm -hmm. you go. You have a day ahead. In Italy, <laughs> it was more, it's, uh -huh. uh, it's almost done. See you soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. For having me. Thank you.